Sixers, hello, welcome back to number six with cheese. Today, that's right, the Sixer style shirt is now available to everybody watching this video, not just patrons. So go snag that, $25, one of our, if not the best design we've ever done. And also, you're here for a food review, the double steak grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. It's a monster, we're gonna eat it, we're gonna review it. Come along as Corey drives us to the nearest Taco Bell. All right, Sixers, uh, a couple of double steak grilled cheese burritos. These babies were $5.99 each, acquired jump cut. Oh great, second angle for a burrito. <laughs> All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's take a look. These things are big boys, my God. And then uh, we take this little paraffin or whatever the hell that's called. You can see all the grilled cheese, I guess, just right there, yeah. Kind of see it, some grilled cheese kind of toasted on there. You could definitely smell it. But um, yeah, grilled up on that bad boy. On the big camera, there you go. Toast it up beautifully. I gotta start melting cheese on my burritos at home. That's a great idea. Goddamn brilliant. All right, here we go. Uh, this is over 1,350 episodes of this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, first bite, I, all bread, kind of expected. That was like a glob of the chipotle sauce. It's growing on me a little bit. I've kind of said in past episodes I don't like it. I think I like it a little more than I used to. Not me, that's already my big note on this is I wish it didn't have the chipotle sauce mm. on there. That's like such their go-to sauce for promo items. I feel like mm -hmm. they use the creamy jalapeno and the spicy ranch like way less than they should. Like I would like this better with a different sauce for sure. It's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. It's definitely huge. Massive for six bucks. It's incredibly greasy. It's, that's the biggest thing. It's like I'm three, four bites in it's like, it's like weighing on me. How much cheese have you eaten today? How much cheese is too much cheese? I can feel the cheese causing gridlock in my butthole yeah. <laughs> as we speak. I'm gonna do a little bit of Sixer sauce in here. I'm gonna do fire sauce first, then probably switch, because ours is better. I haven't had fire sauce in a while. It's so good. I always use like a half the packet on one bite. Fire sauce approved? It's good. That definitely it's helps It's a great that. sauce. It definitely yeah. helps that. The problem with the burritos is the being able to open it up and apply the, the sauce on correctly. I mean, I don't want to sit here and have to every bite do no. it. It's annoying, especially when your hands get this greasy from that cheese. You're trying to open packets every two bites. Mm, great right with the Sixer sauce. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. They sell the fire sauce in bottles at the grocery store, so if you end up taking this home, it's way easier to apply with a bottle. But don't buy theirs, buy ours. All in all, this is pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm a fan of the grilled cheese burrito. I like the concept. The, the, the biggest thing in this I like is actually the rice. Mm -hmm. I love rice and burritos. I like Taco Bell's rice. And I wasn't always a big fan of their steak. That's probably the last meat I'd get at Taco Bell. But I'm kind of digging it in this. I kind of feel like I'd just rather have this burrito without the cheese on it. I don't know if I'm like tasting anything better. Mm -hmm. It's just really greasy and kind of annoying. It's providing more grease than it is flavor. I'm watching Stanley Tucci's got a new um, travel show. Mm -hmm. It's really like he's searching for Italy. And uh, that's like the country I've been to the most. It's been really fun watching go to places I've been to. And the cameras are just beautiful. Did you listen to him on Dak Shepard's podcast? No, I haven't. They b brought up our boy Grant from uh, whatever that really fancy restaurant is we went to. Oh, uh, Grant Ackett's mm -hmm. from Millennia? Stanley Tucci's like the skinniest person ever. He's like no smashing way. all these pots. Have you seen the footage from the Holocaust? Oh, so we're up here. Okay, so that's much skinnier. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what about the skinniest? Like creamy babies? What about the skinniest male celebrity alive today? Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you don't have to put these qualifiers on that makes him that's the top true. of it. You can just say, like, he's a pretty skinny dude. Guys, he's a pretty skinny dude. I mean, uh, who's the guy who stars in Dune? <laughs> Timothy, uh, Timothy Sha Chalamet. Charlemagne. I have one more bite here. Yeah, this is good, not great. It's big. I like big things. You do. And, uh, yeah, there you go, you know. Why are uh, Taco Bell fire packets, like, so trying to get the person laid? You're so my type. Marry me. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. <laughs> you saving it for marriage? That's 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 the only way you know to get laid is by marrying someone? I just assume that's the best way to get laid is to be in a committed relationship. I mean, <laughs> you lived a very ginger life. I guess I can accept that. <laughs> you know what? Very ginger you know what? Life. I'm looking at you and this all checks out. Yeah, yeah, I could see you being like, will you please have sex with me? I'm not, no, not unless if you die, I get all of your stuff. Right. Or if I decide to leave you, I get half of it. That's the only way I'm having sex with you. And then being like, 
Okay. okay. You need to talk to our friend Zacho. <laughs> I'll have a conversation with him. He's had a much different experience where he's getting laid an incredible amount and trying to never get married. Yeah. So it's, it's not only possible, it's right. probable for all the people. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video. We have new episodes every single weekday. Helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel. And also, let's get a comment on the board today so we can interact with you guys. What are we thinking? What do we want to chat with the folks about? We can just make it simple and be like, you guys want cheese on your outside of your burritos? Yeah. You like want that. it on the inside. I want people's take on that. I like that one. I'd like maybe if they fried it up on the tortilla and then flip that and use that on the underside. Yeah. Because if all you want is the crispy, delicious taste of fried uh, cheese, right. you can accomplish that without making my uh, fingers be covered in grease. Right. So what's your take on the cheese on the outside of the burrito like that? Are you pro or are you con? Comment below. And now let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Patreon. Uh, if you want to check us out, if you want to support us, it's a great way to get us uh, helped out through this awesome journey of creating a, a food review channel. We get money from you guys and you guys get stuff in return. Some of those things are like early access to shirts or being able to hang out with us on a private Zoom call that we do with all of our Patreon folks once a month. So check it out, see what tier works for you. We don't have any new Patreon members to shout out, so the next person to sign up is going to get a shout out ASAP. So if you don't want to wait the year and a half, if you buy just like a regular thing on a a number six with cheese's uh, merch page, right. then do this and you'll get a shout out quicker. So there's that. www.patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. All right, let's rate that burrito. Let's put a score to it. Uh, out of five, how about just PNG images of a T-bone steak? How many PNG images of a T-bone steak do you give the, give the $6 double steak grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell, limited time only, Corey? Um, I think it's like a good item, but it's not a good new item. I want new items to be kind of like flashier. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like that the, the cheese was on the outside. I think it was too greasy and didn't actually add flavor. It actually was almost too greasy of a, of a burrito. I like the size of the burrito. I like having rice in the burrito. Uh, I thought the steak was great. I didn't really care for the chipotle. I mean, it was a good, cool thing, but I just don't think it's that great of like a new item. Uh, I think it was kind of more of a pain and blah, 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 you get it. So I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give that a 2.6. Um, so that's a returning concept. They've done the grilled cheese burrito and Taco Bell does that thing where they bring things back. They just swap the protein and double it. They did that with like the crunch wrap. Uh, they've done that with the chalupa, and they're just kind of continuing doing that. So I, I understand that's a trend. It's an easy way for them to make money. Smart. Taco Bell's like the greatest at that, mm -hmm. of basically making no new things, but making new things. Yep. Um, so good good job on that. But like when I go to Taco Bell, it's a personal thing. I like to get a bunch of things. Uh, so if I'm spending six dollars on one thing, if I eat that whole thing, I'd be full, yeah. like done. And I don't really. That's not really my thing. Um, the cheese on the outside, it's more of a marketing thing to me than it is an actual good uh, thing to do for like taste. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. That's the perfect word. Um, I'm going to go 2.75. Good, not great, you know? Um, so guys, don't forget to let us know uh, what's your take on the cheese on the outside of the tortilla. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Wednesday local video, Thursday local video. Go buy the new Sixer style shirts. Those get printed right when you buy it and shipped out pretty damn quick. So if you want that um, during the holiday, snag it now. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for rocking with us. Bye. Thanks, Sixer Sauce.